plastifier. This little machine can be very practical. This is used to lift fingerprints. It's a paper cutter. I have a message. Hello, Victoria. <clears throat> this is Todd. I heard about the fifth murder. I expect a full report on my desk tomorrow morning. Yes, you would, wouldn't you? Agent McPherson. Officer Tate? Agent Ashby wants to see you. She's waiting for you at the morgue. All right. So, how did you guys get the body down? Me and some of the forensic guys set up a ladder where the stairs fell. Oh, well, I hope no one got hurt. Nope, I know what y'all mean, though. That place was as stable as lemmings near a cliff. better leave Miller yes, alone. It looks like he's got his hands full. No. I thought that... Yes? The boss's office. It's locked, of course. No. No. Yes, I... Taking a breather? Yeah, it's the damn no. weather. Depressing as hell. I need to gather more energy before I go back out yes, there. But... 
You're still on patrol? Unfucking fortunately, yeah. I thought that well, hang in there. I'll try. Yes. No. Hey, Claire, get that preliminary lab work done? As a matter of fact, I'm not quite finished. However, I have enough to brief you on if you have the time. For you, always. Okay, here goes. The victim's blood revealed high levels of alcohol. Also, I found traces of Rohypnol, which is also known as the date rape drug. This explains why there was no apparent struggle throughout the assault. The assault started in the first room where she was beaten. She probably fell when you found the spot of blood. She was then carried into the next room. The killer ripped off her clothes and beat her again. She definitely was unconscious at this point. He let her bleed on the floor until he had enough blood to write the messages you found using the luminol. The killer then cleaned off the messages. Obviously, he knew we would find them. He then dragged the victim by her hair along the hallway and stopped to hang up his coat. He finally brought her into the bathroom. The cause of death was drowning. He forced her head under the water until death ensued. Like the other victims, she was killed before the mutilations. She was stabbed nine times and then eviscerated from the lower sternum to the lower abdomen. What are you thinking? I'm thinking these mutilations will get worse. It wasn't part of his MO for the first three victims. They were found beaten and drowned, not like this. Do you think he'll change his MO in the near future? No, I don't think so. Drowning his victims seems to be his focus. That stage in the assault is very important to him. No, the stabbing business is from something else. I have a feeling that if we knew what it was, we would catch the son of a bitch. Also, he covered the face of the fourth victim and now this one. This strongly suggests that he knew the last two victims. I'll ask Miller to correlate the last two victims' info. How about you? Did you come up with anything interesting? Yes, I got a partial that doesn't belong to the victim. Very nice. Did you compare it to the partial you found from the fourth crime scene? No, not yet, but I'll let you know if I can compare them. After all, they are only partials. What about the stuff I found? Anything worth mentioning? We know that our killer has black hair, if it was he that hung his coat on the nail. It might have been a junkie for all we know, but it doesn't matter. We can use the hair for DNA comparison and place him at the scene of the crime. I sent the fibers to the FBI labs to see if they can find anything unusual or unique about them. I've been meaning to ask you. Did you call her? Call? Oh, no, I didn't. I just don't have the courage. Can we not talk about this now? Sure, but promise me that you will call her. Okay, okay, I promise. Okay, sweetie, I'm out of here. Don't forget my beautifully handwritten report. It's on the table.
I could see if I have some metachlorians in my blood. My god, that was weak. Hello? Hi, sweetheart. Hey, Dad. I just heard on the news. Another one? Yes, another one. Is everything okay with you? I'm okay. I'm just really tired of this case. It's going nowhere fast. I hate this passiveness. I think it's starting to get the better of me. Well, before that actually happens, why don't you come here and rest? A little R&R &R won't do you any harm. You can use the jacuzzi to relax and put your thoughts in order. And it's almost Christmas. I have a little gift for you. Oh, really? Well, I have the gift you wanted. Are you sure you want it? It seems a little ordinary. Hey, <laughs> it's what I wanted. So, are you coming to the house? Yeah, sure. Okay, honey. I'll see you soon. Dad? Yes, honey? Thanks. You're more than welcome. See you in a bit. Bye. Yes, I... No, well... Yes, I know, but... Here's Claire's report. Hey, Miller, one last thing. Can you correlate the data of the fourth victim and the fifth to see if we're overlooking something? Sure. I'll run them through the database. Thanks for the report. Yes, I... No, well... Yes, I know, but... Yes, but... 